Okay, good afternoon class. So at this point we're looking at the and at the at analytical geometry. Um, at this point we have done with you guys are reading exercise one and we looked at the corrections thereof, the problems that you had. Also you guys were exposed to um, we, we discussed equations of a tangent to a circle. If you have any issues with that you can refer to the the full lessons in the d description box below. Okay. However, we said that remember a tangent to a circle is going to be a straight line touching that circle at one point only. Okay. And a tangent will always be perpendicular to the radius. Okay. So now we're looking at example one, and example one is on page 193. Okay. So you have are told that determine the equation or the equations of the tangent to the circle. In the first case, you have x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 at the point 2 and negative 4. So if you take into account that we draw what, what they give, give us, we've got the circle there and at this point of 2 and negative 4, the tangent is drawn. So we know that the tangent stands perpendicular to the radius. Okay? So, in order to calculate the equation of the radius, which will be in the form of y is equal to mx plus e, uh, because it's a straight line, we need either two points or we need a gradient and a point. So, at this point, we have 2 and negative 4, which is a point, so we just need to derive a gradient. However, we know that the radius, the gradient of that radius can be calculated. Okay? Because why the origin of that, or the center of the circle is at the origin, that's a coordinate, which is 0 and 0, and you've got 2 and minus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first calculate the gradient of the radius. Remembering that 0 and 0. No? So how do you work out gradient? It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's going to be negative 4 minus 0 over 2 minus 0, which is negative 2. So we know that the gradient of the radius times the gradient of the tangent is negative 1 because they are perpendicular. So I've got negative 2 times the gradient of the tangent is negative 1. So of course the gradient of the tangent is going to be half. So what do we need to do? We need to calculate our c value because my equation now reads y is equal to a half x plus c. Now you can ask yourself, does it make sense? The gradient is positive and the graph is in the straight line is increasing. Yes, it makes sense. Okay. So we're going to substitute the point that's lying on this graph, which is 2a, negative 4. That's an x and a y. So we've got negative 4 is equal to a half x. So the half times 2 plus c. A half times 2 is 1. We take 1 over the equal sign, it becomes minus 5. So therefore my equation is y is equal to a half x minus Okay. And now we're looking at example 2. Example 2 is on page 194. Four. Four. Pull this down. Yeah. 194, no? At this point, we have done this with you guys already. When it was done, it was load shedding at the time. Alright, so this is um, for ex exercise 2. Not so. These examples are for exercise 2 and page, exercise 2 is on page 197. 6. Okay. These are examples for exercise 2 on page 196. Again, the question says determine the equation of the tangents in the circle where x squared minus 5x plus, open brackets, y plus 3 squared is equal to 1, at the y 
intercept or intercepts of the given circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first determine the center of the circle. Okay, you could have worked out your y-intercepts first if you like. I'm going to work out the center of the circle, so I need to complete the square. So it's going to be x squared minus 5x plus a number to complete the square with. Plus y plus 3 is already a binomial square, which is a perfect square trinomial. And uh, equals 1 plus that number I'm adding in on the left hand side of the equal side. What must be added here? It's b, which is 5 times a half squared, which is 25 over. So this is our perfect square trinomial. So it's going to be x minus 5 over 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 29 over 4. So what's the coordinates of the center of the circle? 5 over 2 and negative 3. And what's my radius? Of course, this is r squared. So the radius, we don't actually need to work this out, but it will be 29 over 2. Okay. The root 29 over 2. So if I draw this graph, the, the center of the circle is at 5 and negative 5 over 2 and negative 3 is approximately there. So this is what the, 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 the graph is going to be more or less. Okay, let's just move that over a bit. Alright. So remembering they, they, they're telling us that the tangents is at the y-intercepts of this graph, which is approximately there. Okay. So then if I cut the... If I didn't cut the... The, the image at the, the, the textbook at, okay? I actually got a nice a nice image of it. A bit, uh, much better than the sense through the computer. But anyway... The equation that we need to calculate or determine is the tangent going through like that or the other one going through like that. Okay. So why did I need the center? Because the center stands perpendicular to uh, the, from center to, to that point to the tangent stands 90 degrees because so the radius is perpendicular to tangent. Okay, as you can see, from center to circumference is the radius of the curve. Okay, so again, we need this points here. So what do we say for y-intercept? What do we do for y-intercept? We let x equal 0. Okay. So we then say um, 0 squared minus 5 times 0. I'm substituting into that equation. Plus y plus 3 all squared is equal to 1. That drops. If I introduce square root, I must not forget. Plus minus. So it's y plus 3 is equal to plus minus 1. We take that over the equal sign. So y is equal to negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 4. Of course, I think it would be the second one there. Or y is equal to minus 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So both is actually below the x-axis. Okay, my drawing is not the best of drawings at this point. Okay. So, uh, uh, this is loose, so I can... So it lo it's basically something like it. Okay. So now, pull this down. So let's call this radius, um, radius one, and tangent one, and the radius two and tangent two. Okay. So let's go with radius one. So the Radius 1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this coordinate is of course 5 over 2. No. That's a negative 3, no? Yeah. So it's going to be negative 3 minus, minus 2 over 5 over 2 minus 0. So that gives you negative 2 over 5. So the gradient of the, this is the gradient of the radius 1. The gradient of the tangent one, of course, multiplied by the gradius of, the gradient of radius one is going to be negative one because they are perpendicular to each other. Okay? So, if you now substitute negative two over five, you yeah, divide both sides by negative two over five, so it will again give you five. Okay? So therefore, 
the equation of um, tangent 1 which stands at y is equal to 5 over 2x plus c. So in order to calculate c, I'm going to substitute the point on this line, which, okay, we also know that the y-intercept is negative 2, which will give you a c value of negative 2. So y is equal to 5 over 2x minus 2. Okay. So y is equal to 5 over 2x minus 2. Okay. So let's go with um, radius 2 and tangent 2. So we're going to go with radius 2 now. The gradient of radius 2 is equal to negative 3 minus minus 4 over 5 over 2 minus 0. So that will be 1 over um, 5 over 2, which is 2 over 5. So the gradient of tangent 2 it's going to be negative 2 over 5 on the same account as the previous one. So my point now is that y is equal to negative 5 over 2. We'll start at 3 o'clock. So that is your y-intercept, your c-value is negative. For how much classroom? Debating will be between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go with uh, the Okay, so at this point, we're going to look at uh, the example 2, and example 2 is on page 194. Yeah, what 194? Okay, so uh, the bell is going to ring now, so I'll stop here. So with that, you should be able to have answered exercise 2 number one and number two, which you guys have answered already. So this afternoon you can work on the revision exercise, okay? Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Good afternoon class. You may pack up.